Hello everyone. In this video, we'll traverse through a tool QTP test window in which we'll see how a new test can be created, how can we open already created test, how can we save a test and the different toolbars that are available and all the different functionalities that are available on the test window. So basically, this QTP test window is divided into two parts like this. The first one is the actual editor. Basically, this is the editor where we write our code or the recording lines gets recorded over here. And the second one is test panes. So in this, this test panes provides the information and functionality about the currently open test. Information like say suppose uh, in this coding uh, you have some syntax error so that can be listed over here. When you are debugging your code that is written to this editor such information are listed here. So there are two, two different sections of this tool. Let's see the tool uh, from the QTP itself. So this is our QTP tool. By default, the start page gets listed. So this start page uh, is like a welcome kind of screen where it it welcomes you to a quick test and there is a pro it provides the links to shortcut buttons to open a new and existing um, documents and you have some uh, information here as well about the QTP tool here. So this is the start page, it gets listed. So if you do not want to get the start page Page loaded when you start the QTP you can disable it from here as well tools options and general settings then check the second checkbox display start page on startup just apply a button okay then when you start the QTP page this start page will not get loaded so let's come to the second this is the your actually test as I discussed with you that the tool is divided into two sections this is the first section where which is actually a, a editor where you write your test where the test is written and this is the second uh, section that is the information section and this test panes consist of the different different screens i'll show you like uh, what are the different screens uh, stands for so we have uh, this tool. I'll show you the, each and every part of this tool. The first one is this is our title bar where the name of your test is shown. So this is the blank test. So here only the test name is shown. If you save your test, the name of your test is displayed. And this is the menu bar. And these are the different toolbars. There are different different toolbars are listed over here. Then this is actually your editor, and this is the test panes area, where you have a multiple screens are here like this. Data table is one screen. This is to to do screen, and this is actor screen. So to open a new test, you have uh, either you can click this new button over here, or there is an option file new and there are the multiple options here test and we'll uh, focus on the test and the function library over here so to open a new test just click on this new and then test so here your new test gets opened now when you want to save this test just click on the file and save button so it will prompt you for the option like where do you want to save the thing so uh, similarly, we have the different options from this menu bars and similarly, we have the different different toolbars over here. I'll show you each and every toolbars like what, what uh, the every image stands for over here. So we have a number of toolbars over here. The first one is this standard toolbar. So in the standard toolbar, we have these different options like to uh, open a new document, to open an already saved document, then saving a print option, copy option. Then if read only document is open, then make it editable document, then settings option. The next is object repository option and quality centers option. So this is the very important. I can just remember it as we are going to use this option. Uh, a very frequent basis the object repository icon here from where we can open our object repository where all the objects get stored the next is uh, the insert toolbar so this is your insert toolbar where you have the different options like this is your insert toolbar 
and in this set toolbar you have different options like this step generator then inserting a checkpoint and then splitting your action start action and then the end action the next is your view toolbar here in the tool uh, this is your view toolbar so from this view toolbar you can open the different panes in this next section as i discussed you this uh, contains the information about the currently open test so mm, here are the different options you can open the active screen over here then then there is the data table option is here then the debug viewer option information option and the missing resource pane uh, so from the this active screen option you can uh, see the snapshots of your uh, application snapshots means uh, whatever the operations that you are performing on the application gets displayed as a snapshot here mm, now this is the data table where there is a excel kind of uh, the data table is here from where you can uh, do the parameterization of your test uh, debug viewer that is very useful for your debugging purpose when you are doing the debugging to show the uh, value of the current variable or to show the statements like so this is the debug viewer where your uh, pane gets listed information pane so um, the information about the missing resource if you have any resource gets missing and about the syntax error that gets displayed in your uh, information uh, Pain. Similarly, in the missing resource pane, as well, let's say you have a different different function libraries and object libraries, and that are associated, but get, still getting missed. That is listed over here in the missing resources pane. The next is you have a tools toolbar. So in the QTP tool, this is your tools toolbar, where there are three options. The first one is for the options. Uh, from there, you can do a global settings of your test. Global settings then the next is check syntax this can be useful when you want to check the syntax errors on your code and the third one is object spy a man like icon with a hat on his head so it is actually a spire by which you can uh, spy the properties of the objects of the application we'll see this option when we are going to discuss the object repositories and object identification the next is you have edit toolbar so in this uh, uh, section this is your edit toolbar where you have a different options like the undo redo you want to comment the block you want to uncomment the block then finding option and then go to options uh, the next is the debug toolbar uh, this toolbar is used for all your debugging purposes like to if uh, your script is running then and you want to pause the script this is the option here then the for the step over and the step out do you want to insert a breakpoint or not then this is the toolbar to clear all the breakpoints this is the icon uh, so uh, just uh, make sure that you are aware of this icon so that when we are using such uh, uh, options and properties we are aware of these uh, icons the next is action toolbar so this is the action toolbars where all your actions gets listed whatever the actions that you are working on gets listed over here and finally is this automation toolbar this this one is your automation toolbar where all the options like to uh, record if you want to start a recording then this is the icon to record then to run a test this is the icon to stop a test if you are already executing then this is the icon the shortcut for this is f4 then to different recording modes are there so for these these are the different icons and if you want to show the results so for results viewer this is the icon so we have these different icons over here this is the qtp tool basically we have seen all the different toolbars over here now if you want to create a new test just go to the new and select the test new test will be created similarly if you want to create a new function library then click on the file new option and then function library so see the next tab gets open one with the library one so this is the editor for your function library and this is the editor for your test library so the one thing is that you can open a single test at a time in QTP single test at a time in QTP but you can open multiple function libraries multiple function libraries in the QTP tool 
so you can open like the test is on single open tab but you have a multiple uh, tabs for the function library like this you have library one and library two and so on so and now if you want to see a data table option just click on this icon so the data table gets displayed similarly for all other panes there are the different icons and we'll discuss each and every panes we have when we are working on the corresponding object so this is all about the tool